Now, Matt Oz is running against John Fetterman in Pennsylvania. He joins us tonight. Dr. Oz, thank you so much for coming on. So as a non-Pennsylvanian, I look at this race. Here's the lieutenant governor, sitting lieutenant governor of Pennsylvania versus you, who's never held elected office before at all, and you're winning. So that suggests to me that Fetterman has done a uniquely bad job. Why are these Democrats coming in and vouching for a guy who can't even win a race in a state that he's lieutenant governor of? I think they just want the 51st vote in the Senate, and they don't appreciate yeah. that John Fetterman has been unable to defend his radical views. And that's the big issue in this campaign. He takes yeah. these extreme positions that he's held for years. They're out of touch with Pennsylvania values. A good example, fracking. He calls it a stain on Pennsylvania. Wanted to have a moratorium on it. Had said, I'll quote him, this is from just a few years ago, I don't support fracking at all. I never have yet. On the debate stage and subsequently, he keeps saying that he's strongly supportive of fracking, but he's unable to reconcile those. And I think what Pennsylvanians are saying, which is what many Americans can, can say on their own, is Washington's getting it wrong with radical positions. I stand for balance. But here's the part, Tucker, that gets me. The night of the debate, Fetterman raised millions of dollars in order to advance his campaign. He's gotten much more from other Senate leaders right now that I could have ever imagined being given to, to a candidate who won't explain his radical views. So please help me fight back. Go to DrOz.com. This race is going to ultimately be defined by the ads playing on both sides. And I want to be able to tell the truth about John Fetterman more than he lies about me. It's a little unreal that he keeps attacking you for being rich, which you are, but you made your money. This is a guy who lived off his parents until late middle age. He's never had a real job, and he's got rich kid views. He's against fracking. Like, wh what do you think rural Pennsylvania has? Like, how could you be against fracking in a state that desperately needs energy revenue? I don't understand that. Well, that's why he's been flip-flopping on it, but it goes beyond that. He's taken this strong stance to protect criminals over the desires of the innocent. Yeah. He's wanted to release uh, one-third of all prisoners. He argues that if he could just wave a magic wand, that he would get rid of life sentences for felony murder. He tried to push 25 murderers out of jail over the desires of other members of the parole board. Businesses are leaving Philadelphia, where I am right now, because no. it's so dangerous. And the Fraternal Order of Police, when they endorsed me, it was unanimous, because they just want to do their jobs. Yeah, and they need to, because that city really is on the brink. It's obvious when you go there. I appreciate it. Dr. Oz, Godspeed next week. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. From Tucker Carlson tonight.